Good morning. So I'm back at Cromer's Wood. This is the first time I've been back since we had lockdown. So quite a while. I'm looking at the lake and it's uh, it's well overgrown. I mean, this is this is all open over here, but we've got big bush in the way there. The old trees still up. And I just saw a couple of ducks. There's a couple of ducks so sitting over there in the weeds but yeah it's changed a little bit but the last time i was here they 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 actually chopped down a load of the trees in the woods which was a big disappointment really to me because it was just i found this place and it was it was a lovely woods it's not very not big not huge but it's loads of stuff here and then the second time I came they, they devastated it there was um, some disease the trees had caught and they had to chop oh loads loads of the trees out of out of the wood so it kind of spoiled it so I've come back today to see what the state of play is with what's going on here and uh, do some macro photography I think I've got this one come with today, my macro lens and try and get some close-up shots of some of the plants and but yeah just just nice to be in out sun's out it's warm but yeah I should just have a wander around and see whatever takes me eye so this is uh Cromer's Wood we'll see how it goes So this is an example of uh, one area in the wood which used to be thriving. It's trees everywhere and look at it. This is all because the trees have caught this disease. And yeah, yeah, they, are, they have to try and stop it spreading. So they cut, cut back, but look at it. What, what, it's devastating to see. I don't know what the plans are, whether they're going to replant and I don't know. But they need to do something because they can't leave it like that. Lunch time. Woohoo! I was gonna to go to Knoll Park today, but I had a parcel arrive before I left and I had to open it and register the products for guarantee. And it was a uh, Peak Design capture clip, which I'm wearing today. And you just, you, you put it on, you put your camera on it, it locks in place. So you're walking around with your camera actually attached here and it can't fall off, which is, they're really good. I've got one, I already had one, but I bought another one because I'm doing a fest music festival early June and I wanted another one, one for my camera, one, for, one to carry a couple of lenses. So yeah, that comes to me. So it made me late anyway. So I didn't go to Knoll Park because they shut at five and it was going to give me about an hour and a half by the time I drove there. And it's not long enough. So I've come local, and I'm in uh, Cromer's Wood, like I said earlier. And it's just, it's, it's a lovely place, I mean, to be honest with you, it's, it's a nice wood, but it's just so sad to see it like this. Anyway, lunch, yeah. I'm using my 5DSR today, which is my latest camera. Superb, superb camera. And uh, because I'm doing landscape stuff, and, and I'm going to do some macro, I've done one macro already. Um, this is the perfect camera for that because it's so, the detail in it is so clear. And I can crop in and 
get some keep a lot of the information because it's 50 megapixels which is great so I love this camera but my Mark 3 5D Mark 3 is still a great camera and I still use it and it's it's good for different reasons but um, yeah I do like this camera squirrel running through the woods there just trying over the back of those logs dogs would have loved that because <laughs> this uh, wood is just around the corner really from the, the Woodstock Club where we're having the, the Groovy Fall Festival on the 3rd of June if you've never been and you're local, it's well worth a, a trip to the club because it's a, it's a really good day. There's five bands on this year. It's a £10 a ticket, early bird tickets are £10. So they're on sale now. And if you go to the, the Woodstocks website, you get all the information you need about getting your tickets. Right, where does this lead us? Out onto the field here. On the edge, right on the uh, horizon there, sitting born. And you can see the Sheppey Bridge from here, if you look over this. I don't know if you'd be able to see it on this camera. But yes, the Sheppey Bridge. I don't know what that road is though. My mate Mo would be able to tell you. <laughs> right, so we'll, we'll try along here. A bit muddy here. I didn't expect it to be muddy here today because we ain't had much rain for a few days. So I didn't. But uh, yeah, I remember this, these steps. I think I came down here when they locked us down for the second time. It was the day before they locked us down for the second time. So I came here, I thought, gonna make the most of this day because it was quite a nice day. And uh, the next day we was all in lockdown again, which was only supposed to be for a few weeks. It ended up like six months. Absolute joke. See, there's a tree. See, it's got an orange... There's an orange mark on it. And that means it's got a disease and they're going to knock it down. There's a couple here, look. They've been painted. One there. And one there, they've been painted to come down. Maybe they've had the, oh, where's another one? Maybe they've had the tree doctor out. Oh, look, they're all coming down, all of them. Look at these, all of them. What a shame, isn't it? Tree doctor comes out. Decides what like what's got to come out and how to cut them down. 
But this disease, apparently, it's been all over the place, all over the country. So, got to stop it spreading. A bit like the coronavirus, I suppose. There's loads of this yellow stuff about, loads of it. I've just come down to the Elmley Wreck, the old Elmley Wreck, and uh, I didn't know what the state of the tide was going to be, and I really wanted to tide in, but the actual tide is now out all the way. It couldn't be any further out. So I took a couple of pictures, not what I wanted, but then I didn't look up the tide, so it's my fault, really. Um, but the trip to get here is absolutely off-road, terrible conditions, this, this dirt track. Going through puddles, you don't know how deep they are. And uh, I thought I'd do a video, actually, just to kind of like... show you, it's, it's an absolute disgrace. Let me just angle this down a bit. That's not tight enough. This is going to be a little bit up and down all the time. That's the first puddle to go through. Now, some of these, this, this one, don't look too bad. But the next one, you've got no idea how deep it is. Look, it's an absolute joke. So getting here is a nightmare. Oh, that was deep. I think that's the deepest one of all of them. We'll kind of keep over to the right on this one. I would like to come down here for night time. See, there's another one. You don't know how deep this is. I just can't believe. I can't get this tight. See, it's just... I mean, that could be really deep, and you, you wouldn't know. Just got to be really careful. There was one of these. It was hitting the bottom of the car. Ridiculous. Like I say, it wouldn't be so bad if you could see the bottom, but when it's big puddles like that, you just don't know how deep they are. Anyway, I started off at Cromer's Wood, and then I went to, just outside of Faversham, there's like a crops of trees in a field, and an old ruin at the bottom, and I've been meaning to get a picture of that for a while now. Um, so I decided to stop there and get one of that and then I came back to Tong to the wreck to see if I could get a picture of the tide not even in but one of it nearly in but obviously the tide was so far out not the picture I wanted but I will post it I didn't realise it was as big as it is actually so seeing it with the tide out first time I've seen it like that. It shows you just how big this wreck is. But yeah, so, oh Christ, bumps and lumps in this road. So I'll, I'll get off of this uh, dirt path and then 
back onto the main road. I think I'm going to go home. It's uh, seven minutes past six now. So I've had quite a long day. I've enjoyed it. It's, it's you know, it's not, not been the great photos that I wanted to get. Um, but yeah, I've, in, I've enjoyed walking around and all exercise is good exercise, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I won't be coming back down this road until I know the tide's in, that's for sure. It's just not, it's just not worth the, the aggro on the, on the car, really. And the thing is, you have to drive that. You can't walk down here because those puddles, there's no way around them. You've got to walk through them, and, and some of them are deep. So, uh, yeah, for me, it's not feasible to walk through them, really. Even a pair of wellies ain't high enough. There seems to be a few bunny rabbits running across, running across the, from the left to the right here. They hear the car and then they belt across the road. But I shall just leave the video on, I think. And if nothing else, it'll give me some B-roll. And uh, I shall make my way home. So that's it from me. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.